After completing my 10th class exams in 1979, my father suggested that I go and help my father's uncle and learn astrology. Mathematics being my favorite subject, I learned the calculations. My grandfather to taught me how to calculate the inclinations of each planet and how to calculate the Lagna and the Meridian Center MC. And he gave me some birth charts to draw. Thus, I learned how to draw the birth charts first and showed interest in predictions. So, my grandfather uh, told me some predictions, some of the tips that he usually uses for predictions. And after learning those tips, I documented some of them. I verified with my father while my father and my grandfather have uh, laid the foundation for me to show to get interested in astrology uh, for most of for almost a decade or two decades i didn't show any interest Welcome to Shastri Karras Astrological Series. In this presentation, what I'm going to do is to look at the United States chart and specifically look at uh, what will be the impact on, for the country when transit Rahu enters the Cancer, which I think is supposed to happen either in end of last week of August or somewhere during first or second week of September. So let's look at this chart. What you see here is the inner one is the President Trump's natal chart and the outer one is the country, United States country natal chart. When you look at the United States country natal chart, what you see is that in Cancer, natal Rahu and natal Mercury, they both are residing in Cancer. And that's where transit Rahu is going to enter Cancer. That means basically what you can say here is that natal Rahu and transit Rahu, they both are co-joined in the ninth house for the, in the, for the country's chart. Ninth house stands for Dharmasthanamu in general, Dharma. So with Rahu residing in Dharmasthanamu, and the most important part here is the transit Rahu co-joined with natal Rahu in the same Dharmasthanamo is indicates that there will be something, something pertaining to Adharma is sure to happen during this period of 1.5 years. That means starting from September 2017 all the way somewhere till June 2019. In these 1.5 years with Transit Rahu co-joining with natal Rahu in Dharmasthanamo will always create some sort of a situation where Dharma, where Adharma is sure to happen. Having kept that in mind, let's go and look at what exactly is going to happen uh, with this transit Rahu on the natal chart of the president. Before we go to the natal chart of the president, what I would like to do is to look at the uh, Vimsothari Dasa for the country. As far as I know, uh, based upon my calculations, current Vimsothari Dasa is Rahu Mahadasa. So, Rahu, um, transit Rahu and natal Rahu are co-joined in Dharmasthanamu and Rahu Mahadasa is now currently running. That indicates that there is more emphasis for something against the dharma is sure to happen either to the country or by the country. Having discussed about the Vimsotari Dasa for the United States chart, let's go and superimpose the, first of all, let's discuss with the president's chart separately. In this, what you see is that in the president's chart, uh, cancer is the 12th house and in the 12th house for the president, you see Saturn, natal Saturn and natal Venus are co-joined in the 12th house for the president and they both are having a direct aspect on the 6th house for the president. Now, generally speaking, 
with Saturn and Venus residing there and in the 12th house and having a direct aspect on the 6th house always shows some sort of a relationship between 6th and 12th being the bondage between 6th and 12th houses are is very high with Saturn being the 6th house lord the bondage is uh, got further stronger now that natal Rahu the transit Rahu is entering Cancer that means transit Rahu is now co-joining with natal Saturn and natal Venus for the president. Now natal Saturn is the lord of the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th and 7th houses. Okay. And Venus is the lord of the 10th house that is career. Very important point here is the role of Venus is very important here because Venus is the lord of the 10th house and transit Venus is co-joined with natal transit Rahu is co-joined with natal Venus and natal Rahu is residing in the house owned by Venus. So that means the relationship between Rahu and Venus is much much stronger here. Rahu being a malefic or a terminator whichever way you call it and already Rahu is in the 10th house so you, you might have noticed the natives uh, a number of times going up and down in his career. Now that Rahu, the transit Rahu is co-joined with the 10th house lord and that too in the 12th house. This indicates that there is a high possibility. Yes, high possibility for something related to the 10th house or for the native, the 10th house, the 12th house and the 6th house. These three houses are now or having a bondage for the event whatever the event is supposed to happen will be related to these three houses as if that is not sufficient for the native that's a Kala Sarpa Yoga or Dosha whichever way you want to see it so transit natal Rahu is directly looking at one two three fourth house of the for the native and transit Rahu is looking at the sixth house for the native Saturn is looking at the sixth house for the native Venus, the 10th house lord is looking at the 6th house for NATO. Overall, when you look at this NATO, first, the 6th house deals with uh, deaths, illness and employment conditions. So, 10th house is career. And the attain 10th house, you see the 1st house lord too. So, the career pertaining to the NATO is very sure. And that too, something, uh, because it is sun, you have to say that it is something pertaining to leadership. So the career pertaining to leadership is what is going to have an impact. Now sixth house will take because the tenth house is career in sixth house you have to take the employment conditions. So in the career something pertaining to employment conditions is sure to say something pertaining to employment conditions is sure to go wrong. Now go because this is because transit Rahu is looking at the sixth house. Now sixth house Lord Saturn a natural malefic is already there in the 12th house. So 12th house some deals with uh, imprisonment uh, and then hospitalization. These are the two major things and unexpected expenditures. These are the three major things that we should see for it in 12th house for a NATO. So now that we are looking at the 10th house career uh, is correlated with in the 6th house with employment conditions. Now you have to go back and say like okay what is the, in the 12th house which particular characteristic will be correlated that we can correlate pertaining to uh, career and uh, employment conditions. The, there are two things that you can correlate in 12th house. First unexpected expenditures. So something that went wrong in his career or ch due to the change in unemployment conditions has resulted in unexpected expenditures for the NATO. That's the first possibility. The second possibility is something went wrong in his career due to change in his employment conditions that resulted in imprisonment. That's the second possibility. The third possibility is something went wrong in his career Due, and that changed his employment conditions resulted in resulted in hospitalization. So these are the three possibilities that can happen for this particular NATO. If you look at the NATO individually pertaining due to the transit Rahu, um, pertaining to transit Rahu. Now that 
we have individually seen the two charts the country chart and the president's chart let's try to superimpose and what's happening here so the dharmasthanamu for the country where natal and transit rahu are residing is going to spoil the dharmasthanamu for the country that is for sure either the country will spoil the dharma will the country will behave in such a way that it is against the dharma or something against the dharma is sure to happen inside the country so that is from the country's perspective i already mentioned that for the nato's perspective something pertaining to career employment conditions and the 12th house the three possibilities in 12th house is sure to happen for the nato now you co join the so when you superimpose what could happen is something against the dharma happened in by the country and that has resulted to uh, the career uh, that has resulted some sort of a disturbance for the president's career and resulting in change in employment conditions and that finally resulting either in unexpected expenditures for the nato for the president or uh, hospitalization for the president or imprisonment for the president so something happens there so what the major thing you have to look here just by looking at the transit rahu is that if there is some sort of an adharma happened inside the country it's going to have a major impact on the president's uh, job means the person who is working as who has job as a president of this country is that's a who's that's the chart which which we are seeing which is inside the circle so the in the inner circle so for that person mr trump uh, something is odd is going to happen and that is in the next 1.5 years so what you have to do is in this 1.5 years there are two other important slow moving planets one is the jupiter which is going to enter into libra yes that's right and the other one is saturn which is going to enter into scorpio this so is sagittarius so when you look from the country side sagittarius is the second house but when you look from the nato sagittarius uh, saturn transit saturn in sagittarius indicates that it is in the second house from natal moon for the nato which means the nato is going through sadeshani but because the mahadasa for this nato is jupiter the sadeshani impact will be minimal but it is noticeable also the transit jupiter is going to be in libra somewhere sometime soon which is the 12th house for the nat for the country remember the 12th house for the country is where jupiter is residing and the natus mahadasa is running is jupiter if you look at the commonality the country's mahadasa is rahu and transit rahu is entering the 12th house for the nato the country the natus mahadasa is jupiter and transit jupiter is entering the 12th house for the country overall here the 12th house is very very important whether it is for the country or for the nato and whatever happens in the 9th house whichever whatever is the adharma that has happened uh, will have a direct impact on the 12th house for both the country and the nato i hope uh, we will we will mm, see what exactly is going to happen and uh, in the meantime let me just monitor the act the, how the country's situation political situation and i will keep updating it as and when needed thank you for watching this video